Hello, beauties, and welcome to our EFT tapping for today. I invite you to just drop into presence right away. So if it feels good, you might just soften your gaze downward or close your eyes. And let's take three deep and grounding breaths together. When you're ready, go ahead and breathe in through your nose. And exhale, just sighing out, letting go. Another breath in. And on your exhale, seeing if you can arrive in your body just a little bit more. Last breath in together, breathing in. And on your exhale, letting it out, seeing if you can surrender into this moment just a little bit more. And if you want to stretch, if you want to move, I invite you to go ahead and do that. And if you've never tapped with me before, no worries. We are going to tap along together. You're more than welcome to follow along with me. You're welcome to say the tapping sequences that I'm speaking out loud with me. Or you can just close your eyes, listen and tap and let my voice guide you. So today our theme that we're going to be tapping on is chaos. <laughs> chaos, confusion, madness but specifically in terms of money. And you can definitely use this tapping practice to tap on chaos in general, but we're going to focus on the theme of money, whether it's money has felt a little bit scarce lately, or maybe money has felt overwhelmingly abundant lately and your nervous system is kind of freaking out, or maybe you are feeling a bit of some avoidant tendencies happening with money whatever it might be, whatever might feel a little bit chaotic or not fully grounded and integrated, I invite you to use this tapping practice to just ground into your body and fully, fully soften into the bed of your divine freedom. So with all that being said, I invite you to just tune into your body and notice where's the chaos? What does it feel like? Maybe it's a specific place in your body that gets tight or tense or hot, whatever it is, just noticing when you think of money, what arises. And I invite you to go ahead and just rate that sensation, the sensation of chaos or the sensation of stress that you might feel around money. You can go ahead and rate that from a number between zero and 10. Zero being me and money are good, it is calm, it is breezy over here, 10 being, it is <laughs> quite chaotic, quite hectic in my world. I'm feeling a lot of pressure or stress or scarcity or whatever it might be. No number is better than another. There is no right or wrong answer, but just to get a sense and kind of check in with your body to see what's alive. And when you have that number, I invite you to Take another deep breath and we're going to drop right into our practice again. You can tap along with me. So go ahead and find the side of your hand point. It doesn't matter which one that you're going to tap, kind of right here along the side of your hand, right away. So go ahead and just start tapping on this point. You can repeat after me or you can let my voice guide you. Even though I'm feeling this chaos in my life right now, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Keep tapping. Even though I'm experiencing this stress and this chaos, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And again, even though I feel this stress and chaos in my life right now, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And go ahead and let your hands fall into your lap. Take a deep breath. And we're going to start tapping on your inner eye, this point right here. You can tap with both hands. You can tap with one hand, whatever feels most alive for you, most beautiful for you today. Follow your own inner guidance. <sighs> inner eye, this chaos. 
<sighs> outer eye, this point right here, this feeling of stress and overwhelm underneath your eye, just feeling like it's not safe to trust myself or trust money. Underneath your nose, this point here, I feel afraid. Tapping on your chin. The chaos feels scary because it feels unknown. Tapping right here underneath your collarbones. It feels scary to be here in this space where I don't feel in control where I'm being asked to trust underneath your arms, right at that bra line, if you were wearing a bra. It feels really, really hard to trust money right now. Top of your head. This chaos. Inner eye. This feeling like, I don't know what comes next. outer eye, this feeling like it's not fully safe to trust my life or my timeline. <sighs> Keep the breath moving <sighs> underneath your eye. <sighs> the scarcity I feel around money underneath your nose. I really don't want to feel this way chin, the parts of me that feel insecure, your collarbones, <sighs> the parts of me that are having trouble seeing the vision and feeling the vision of my most opulent life. <sighs> underneath your arms, this chaos that creates these spirals of thoughts, top of your head, maybe I'm just not good enough, inner eye, maybe I don't really know what I'm doing, outer eye, Maybe I just don't have what it takes underneath your eye. These kinds of thoughts are hurtful on your nose. And I'm ready to start letting them go. Chin. And the part of me that feels addicted to the chaos underneath your collarbones, the part of my nervous system that is just so used to suffering and struggling under your arms. And it feels so scary to let that part of me go. Top of your head, because honestly, in a way, chaos feels safe in our eyes. And I'm learning to honor the part of me that wants to perpetuate these cycles of chaos because in a lot of ways, it's all that I've known, outer eye. But I'm starting to recognize I can't walk on this path anymore. Under your eye, and I'm starting to open to a new declaration, a new era, where I feel safe in the calm under nose, where money feels abundant and opulent, chin, where I feel so safe and secure and supported underneath your collarbones. <sighs> Keep the breath moving. <sighs> and 
I'm starting to feel this safety arrive in my body, under your arm. I'm starting to feel safe in this calm, in this stillness, top of your head. Maybe it's okay for me to just let my life be good. Inner eye. Maybe it's okay for me to just trust that things always work out for me. Outer eye. Things always work out for me. Under your eye. Things always work out for me. Under your nose. <sighs> I'm teaching my nervous system right here, right now, that it's safe to be in the stillness. Chin. It is safe to be in the stillness. And your collarbone, it is safe to be in the stillness. Under your arm. And from the space of trust and the stillness is where I can drop into my goddess receivership. Top of your head. The part of me that knows just how safe it is to receive and be in abundance inner eye, the part of me that feels so safe and at home with money in my bank account, feeling so safe, so secure. Outer eye, I'm awakening this part of me that enjoys and finds peace when things are calm. Under eye, I'm letting go of needing to be stressed all the time or pushing myself all the time under your nose. And I'm trusting from this space, from the bed of my divine queendom, I am abundant. Chin, I am abundant. Collarbone, I am abundant. <sighs> under your arm. <sighs> And then I'm learning to feel safe in this abundance, top of your head. And I invite you to just start to visualize every cell in your body starting to relax and soften into this abundance, into this stillness, into this calm. Inner eye, starting to feel your body relaxing and sinking further into this bed of your divine queendom, outer eye. I have arrived, maybe sinking a little deeper into the seat, the ground, the earth beneath you. Under your eye, letting yourself melt into this safety, into this stillness under your nose. It's safe to let myself rest here. Chin. I'm just gonna let myself rest here. Collarbone. I'm just gonna let myself rest in the stillness. Underneath your arm. Mm, it feels so good to be here. And letting your hands fall into your lap. If your eyes are open, you might just drop your eyelids closed. And just take a nourishing deep breath in. And on your exhale, let it go. And just letting yourself sink into the sensations of safety, of calm, of stillness. And you might bring your hands to your heart, or you might stretch your arms out to the left and the right. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, bringing your arms in to wrap around you, safety holds. And in this moment, can you honor the parts of you that perhaps 
Enjoy the chaos or find safety and peace in the chaos. Maybe that's all certain parts of you have ever known. And that's okay. But right here in this moment, just giving yourself a big hug and letting all parts of you know how safe it is to be calm, to be still, and to trust that everything is working out for you, to trust in the abundance and the opulent life that is landing within you right now. And I invite you, this would be a beautiful time to just take notice of that number that you might have rated at the beginning, that sensation of chaos from a scale of zero to 10. Just noticing intuitively what that number feels like now. Maybe it has gone down, maybe it went up, maybe it stayed the same. As always, there's no right or wrong here, but noticing if the number stayed the same or went up, it's an invitation to explore. Is there anything deeper than the chaos that wants to be seen and witnessed? And if so, playing in your journal, playing in your embodiment, playing in your somatic experience, you might end this EFT and go lay in the grass and just ground deeper. Or if you feel like there's more energy to move around, you might turn on some music and just and use your breath to move that energy. As always, I invite you to trust your own inner authority and allow yourself to be guided from your own inner compass. And finally, just taking a moment, hand over heart, to be in honor and celebration of yourself for taking this time for yourself to be in your body, to get out of your head and just ah, once again, soften into that side of your divine.